In this video, we will discuss the auto charge feature available on the Linux Rail condensing units. We will review the type of systems that can utilize the auto charge feature, the conditions that must be met, and the steps to effectively use the new auto charge feature. Step 1. Before the auto charge feature can be used, your Linux Rail system must be started up and commissioned correctly. Refer to our other training videos and or the installation instructions if you have not completed this step. Step 2. You will need to determine the type of system you have. The auto charge feature can only be used on one-to-one -one systems. A real one-to-one -one system is made up of one real condensing unit and one conventional air handler or furnace. Now let's look at when to use the auto charge feature. The auto charge feature is a helpful function and is intended to be used when the coil volume and the refrigerant line length is unknown. The following conditions must always be met before using the auto charge feature. The refrigerant piping length is unknown. Only one indoor unit is connected. The connection ratio of outdoor unit capacity to indoor unit capacity is between 80 and 100%. The outdoor ambient temperature is between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 109 Fahrenheit. The indoor ambient temperature is between 70 Fahrenheit and 90 Fahrenheit. Refer to the auto charge instructions included in the Real Outdoor Unit Installation Manual for more details. To begin the auto charge process, first connect the R410A refrigerant cylinder to the auto charge port located on the outdoor unit. Next, using the thermostat, place the indoor unit into cooling mode with the fan set to high. The auto charge feature will not operate in any other mode other than cooling. Then you will need to enter the auto charge mode by pressing and holding the menu button for 5 seconds. The outdoor unit will then display N0 with the 0 flashing. Next, press the up and down button until you see a 1. The outdoor unit will display N1 with the 1 flashing. Press the OK button to accept. The outdoor unit will now display N10 with the 0 flashing. Press the up button until you see three. The outdoor unit will display N13 with the three flashing. Press the OK button to confirm and automatically proceed to the next menu level. The outdoor unit will now display a solid zero. Press the up button to change the menu option and choose one. The display will show a solid one. Press the OK button. The display will now show R005. Finally, turn on the refrigerant supply. The auto charge process will begin and takes about 30 to 60 minutes to complete. When the auto charge process is complete, the LED will display end. Press the OK button for five seconds to exit the auto charge mode. Finally, turn off the refrigerant supply and disconnect from the auto charging port. Please refer to the installation manual or contact technical support if you need further assistance.